UFSD has shown resiliency all throughout UAP Season 81. They did not give up when Milena Alessandrini got hurt. Aya Laura did not give up when she got hurt in game number two. So even though they're down two sets to none, you can't expect them to just fold under the pressure now that their bats are against the wall. Now for Ateneo, this is their moment. This is their opportunity. They're one set away from recapturing the championship they last the won one. in Season 77. That's right. And, you know, so far in the first two sets, although, you know, Ateneo has been very consistent when it comes to their movement. Outside, boy, for the, 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 the flow of how the players move around the court, it, it seems like it's well orchestrated. And they have been playing with the same consistency, which is making it difficult for USD. But USD, on the other hand, they managed to get a grip already of, you know, that right movement. It's just a matter of how they can sustain it. Oh, and on. Ivy, you talked hey, about uh, USD no perhaps way. utilizing more combination plays. They just did that. But the key here really is to at least, you know, distract the blockers one second, one fraction of a second. Well, they, that is already uh, an advantage. Let's get an update on the Ateneo side as we hear from Franny Reyes. The Lady Eagles struggled at first in that second set. You know, they played their best when they got those smiles on their faces. And we didn't see much of that. There was also a lack of sense of urgency and they were a bit tense on the court. But a game changer for Ateneo was their service. The Lady Eagles are only, and please correct me if I'm wrong, fifth in service, but they're bringing out the best of themselves and elevating their skills. In this set, hindi sila pwede magmadali. They want to control the pace so that they can execute and play right. The Lady Eagles are pumped and ready to up the intensity in this set. They want the championship and they want it now. Back to you guys. Thank you very much, Franny. Boy, for Ateneo. And you are actually correct. The Lady Eagles are fifth when it comes to service. But, you know, at this point, the rankings, the history, they just throw it out the window. They just want to fix whatever they can because this is one final game. The clock is ticking. And the championship is up for grabs. Grandina. Ravenna. Free ball will go to the USD side. Picar. Laure had to step on the break. She grimaced there. That's the first time I've seen her grimace in this match, Ivy. That's, That's right. And looks like that she is feeling something. And now, for the first time, she is shaking her left leg. It's going out to Makayla Chavez. Anton and Ivy, the U.S. Golden Tigers says did not parade themselves here today just to give way to the Ateneo Lady Eagles. When asked what they can offer, they said the best version of themselves. And by this, they mean a more mindful Tigers willing to show the best decisions on the court. Coach Paul Fureyes is nowhere near satisfied and his words seem to have been the ladies' fuel. With full conviction, he exclaimed, Alam nyo kung sino at ano kayo on the court. So ipakita nyo yun. Expect this girl to not now their plays no. as the team remains confidently aggressive and fearless with a hard back to you guys. Thank you very much, Makayla. Aya Laure. You can see the concern written all over her face. Service out. Boy, for Ateneo. Well, there's, a, there's something going on, definitely. Pero sinabi niya lalaban siya hanggang dulo. Not wanting to make any excuses. You heard of Dwayne Wade's one last dance. This is Bea de Leon's one last flight. Rondina is still flying down for the USD side. Rondina continues to fight here for USD. And you can really see it also on Rendina's face. You know, she really wants it and she wants everybody to work with her. Now serving the JRS Express Bonfata. best play of the game. What a fighter. And even in the huddles and in, in between, you know, when it's dead ball, you can really see her how she would uh, motivate and cheer or boost her teammates. 
Jimenez gets no. ruined. No way, Trey. The formula that Ateneo has been using with the type of players that they have. All and why not? Slot. Huh. The well, best blocking cool. team in the league for the past two seasons. Tolentino gets that one in. There's the push by Caitlin Jimenez. Samonte will hit. Laure was there to pop it up from the back row. Rondina fading back. Outside point for Ateneo. Ateneo with a two-point lead. You know, the arena started as a raucous atmosphere as we see Rodina with a hit. Rodina with as a game has gone on. There are moments that are eh, oh. both sides. I think everybody is really trying to... But they are trying to get what they want to see, what's going to happen. And of course, the game is a game. You know, you're going to have to win another... What? Seven, eight months? for the next season. That's right. And some of the players that you're rooting for won't be there anymore. Exactly. It's different. It's different when they are wearing their school colors. Rivera says mine. Picar gives it to Rampina. Rejected. I think the set was a little bit too low than what CC wanted. But you can really see already that the Ateneo blockers know who are the PP guys. So the blockers are ready, are ready to, to go up against CC. Substitution. Normally we see her relaxed and smiling. Hell serving. So today it's been a game face that she has been showing. It's a different side of Dina Wong. She means business today. Laure gets it in the air. Galanza to Rondina. That's a check for There is a touch. Rondina. First referee agrees. You can see CC calling it out as soon as she lands. Very slight touch in the hands of Bongai. Hell serving. Capitana. CC Rondina. Wong. Running attack for Matayag. Manny Matayag You knew it was coming. Attack. When Manny is in the Let front row, time, that running attack will follow soon. Ateneo leads USD 8-6. It's a different feeling when you're walking out on the street and you see schoolmates, you see the school pride and we see a lot of people look at the emotions, the joy, the happiness in the faces of all these fans, supporters from each university, and they're all supporting their respective schools with some UAP merchandise, which you can purchase on UAPstore.com, on Instagram, and on Facebook. Now serving, Maddie, season. Yun ang maganda ron, di ba? Kahit off season, pwede kang bumili. Oh, blocking has really been the story here in game number three, Ivy. I have to agree. And uh, but you know, although that uh, we know that Ateneo is a strong blocking team, USD can still find a way, you know, to, to balance it. I think at this point, coverage is the first thing that they need. And I just saw Bea De Leon gesturing about the movements of the Golden Tigresses. It really seems that they have done their homework. Pinag-aralan nila yung mga galaw ng Golden Tigresses and that's why nasasabayan nila yung mga spikers. And you know, like I said, the, the plays that the, the USP has been executing right now is a little bit uh, predictable. So it's all, it goes out to the wings all the time. So very few combinations. The middle attackers haven't been, haven't, uh, been given as much. So very easy talaga para for the blockers of Ateneo to read. 
Pacres. Popped up by Tolentino. Wong to Gaston. Galanza, one-handed set. Goes over. And Ateneo will get the Ateneo. point. 10 to 7 now. Substitution. Tally. Isa Jimenez. For Mafe Galanza. Alina Picard. For Team Team Pacres. Now serving, Dina Wong. I said in game number two that Dina Wong could be the key. And she wants to open that door to greatness and legendary status. But USD just has no quit in them. Anybody on that bench can step up. Even the 14th player, Ivy. That's right, and that is what we are seeing now here from USD. Tolentino wants to make sure that they still are ahead of the game. And Kat's father, Noni, is enjoying this one as his daughter towers over the competition. And of course, in the background, back on Austria. Now serving, Bongai Gaston. Ball goes back to the Ateneo side. We see the thank you signs because the fans know that this is Bea's one last flight. Somebody put that on Instagram. Leading the set. 12, serving A. Ateneo. This is going to be important now for uh, for Ateneo. So not much topic, you know, reminders of the Manapinigay and Coach Oliver. As Coach Oliver sees that, of course, uh, the medal now, but Porta has been contributing also for USD, and he's not really discounting to the capabilities of these rookies. Kept pinabantayan din niya. Tolentino slamming it back down. Tolentino. Let's take a look at it one more time. Castro so Lentino. Casey Gogones, back in the game. Casey Rondina almost had it. Well, was able to keep it alive, actually. And that was classic Oliver Almatro. Never gets old. Bongai Gaston. The celebrations. Nobody celebrates like Coach Oliver Almatro. And so I, even after every match, I'm sure that Coach Oliver is just as tired as the players are. Pare pareho silang ano eh. Rodina trying to calm down her teammates. As we have reached another Gatorade hydration checkpoint. Picard popping it up. Gaston. Galdones saved by Ravenna. Outside. And a rare error by Ateneo here in game number three. So this is opportunity being given now to USD. Now we have CC Rondina at the front line for USD. So hopefully, so this will change a things a bit on the side of the Golden Tigresses. The change has to come now, at this very moment, for the Golden Tigresses. It's a free ball, a chance for CC. You know it's gonna go to her, but Ravenna knew it as well. Samonte going down the line, Bicar popping it up. Laure to Rondina going down the line, Wong. 
helping out oh, the digging department Joshua. and up the nail getting the point that we are seeing Julia who is the daughter of ABS-CBN sports production head Jenny Jimenez big time Ateneo fan loving the action here there she is Julia El Survey showing us that one big fight Free ball for Ateneo. Walk to Tolentino. Rodina punching it back. But Wong gives it back oh, to Matt. Fun. And why not? Ah, Tolentino. Tolentino so, on the attack. Now Ateneo fans, do you like that? Lady Eagles on top 16 to 9. To all the UAP fans, remember this day, remember this moment. Because it's something so rare. The first ever España and Katipunan finals in UAP women's volleyball. 21,347 in attendance. Breaking records again today, Ivy. Okay, but we, we did not expect anything less. On the spot, Cici Rodina. That is what we expect. Same with Cici Rodina. Again, scoring the point here for USD with another cross court hit. USD down by oh, six, but Casey this Gondonis. is still not impossible here for the Golden Tigresses. All they need is an error free set. They just have to make sure that they give out those good cross quarters. But first ball. From the middle. The um, fearless rookie Isa Jimenez contributing to the cause of the Golden Tigresses. And there's that combination play that you were suggesting earlier, Ivy. The advantage of having these attacks is you break the blockers. At that time, only one blocker going up against her. Tolentino. Bongai Gaston will push it to the USD side. Picar to Rontina, cross court. Wong gets it up in the air. Tolentino, Picar. Rontina takes off. It scores for USD. You know what? Whatever happens today, in the history of UAB women's volleyball, there are players who will be known and recognized just by the mere mention of their first names. Through legends like Manila, Rachel, Alaysa, and now Sisi. They are down by four. Coach Kung Fu you know, wants the girls to work hard. Para makuha nila to. Of course, Coach Oliver giving out again some just basic reminders. As USD seems to be finding their groove, and he knows the once makapalit na nasa magandang momento ng USD, mahihirapan sila. So oh, too strong on that serve by Casey Galdones. That service error can be crucial here for USD. Coach Oji Mamon. Now survey. And of course, Coach Tai Bundit. He said he was the lucky charm. But that's why he's here. <laughs> he was here for game number two. Play Another play point play now play for line. USD again. The medals contributing. They were contributing in game number one. And that's what's missing. 
the contributions from the likes of the Lawrence, the likes of Jimenez, Caitlin Ferrai, but right now Ateneo is rolling. Dani Ravenna scores again with that over receive. USC thought that it would be going out. Rakuya Kiefer. You know, as early as now, Ateneo fans are wondering, could Danny Ravenna be the next great libero for Ateneo? Well, the way she played with game number two and the contributions she has right now, then, I mean, it's not impossible. That's something we will look forward to in the coming years. But you know what? If CC was a dragon, it would only take a simple command to get her to obliterate the opposition. CC Rondina. And she's been slaying all up to the end. Wong. You know, Dina Wong always has something up her sleeve. Laure breaks down the wall. Laure going up against the blockers, gets that touch. Can't say enough about the warrior spirit of A. Laure. Gaston. Came in with a lot of steam. Rivera keeps it alive. Laure puts it up into the sky. Gaston skies for the spike. Picard to Laure. Picard switches it up. Drop ball does not work. Wong pushing it to the corner. Rondina was there. Laure again. No, no. But no, guess no. who was there waiting? Maddie. Moved by Madi Madayag. Real name, Madi Madayag. Alter ego, Madzilla. What a moment. And it gets Six points away, Ivy. That's right. So a lot of concentration on the side of USD. This is still not impossible, Anton. They can still catch up. We've seen teams with a far bigger margin be able to do that. But it all will start with the mental toughness that they have. Gaston, drop ball. No, no. no coverage good. coach Oliver Caitlin wanted a Villai. hit. On the surface line, Caitlin Viral. USD just three points down. Gaston. That did not cross the net. Outside point for the USA. from the blocker. You know how resilient USD has been in season 81? They have never lost in straight sets. That's how resilient this team has been. You can't just put them to bed. Gaston. Gaston. Just doing everything they can, everything in their power. Well, how about some fungi power? Puntos para sa Lady Eagles. Ateneo five points away from the championship. Being the wall. The car. Laure breaks La down the wall. Roxer. Hey, Laure. Hey, uh, Laure. You really see the look of determination on her face. And again, USD uh, executing a combination play that works back. for them. Ngayon pa lang, nararamdaman na natin na magiging motivated si Ea Laure. Maski anong mangyari dito sa sering ito. 
Maya Bowman, look at that. And that is why she is the rookie of the year. Smart player, Ea Laure. This is just the first of five years of Ea Laure for USD. You know what? Coach Oliver Almadro said it best. We have to take it. We've been talking about the grit and determination and the resiliency and the never say die attitude of the Golden Tigers as all season long. If Ateneo is going to reclaim the championship, they are going but to have the to take it hard. with conviction. Tolentino, Galdones challenging Tolentino at the top of the net. Vicar, combination play, Ravenna. Laure gets roof. You have the two tallest players up against the Tolentino and De Leon. So, saan mo papadadaanin? Danny Ravenna with a save. And the name of the game is blocking for Ateneo. Now serving, Hong Kai Gaston. And the thing is, what makes it seem so strange is that we used to say that about LaSalle throughout many years in the UAAP. You know all about that, right? That's right. In the meantime, a Laure. This game is not over. Down the line, hit. Coach Kofu continues to applaud his troops. USD has come to within one. What a save by Rivera. Rodina gets the point and ties the match up. Scores. USD is not done yet. No. Another well-placed hit from CC Rondida. This is not one of her strongest hits, but then again, you know, she really knows where to put the ball just to make it a little bit more difficult for the receivers. The young bull is loving it. Colin Sexton. He saw the fans, the number of people watching game number two, and that's why he's here for game number three. Valentino gives the lead back to Ateneo. Into the block. Coach Oliver Almadro told his players they have to take it. UST four points away, but Ateneo just needs three points to get that championship title. Laure, Picard, Rondina! Not while CC is at the front line. Bubukas ang langit. Bubuhos ang biyaya. Ika nga ni Coach Kung Fu Reyes. Now serving, Casey Gondolens. Ito ang sagot ng Ateneo. Maddy Mabayar. That drop ball was actually high enough for anybody to get it. But you know, sometimes having three people there in that same spot, and you don't know who will be the first one to try it at that. Bumuhos ang biyaya kanina. Yang drop ball naman ni Madayag ay hulog ng langit. 
Ateneo on top by one. Rondina. Ravenna chasing that volleyball. Vicar to Rondina. Madayag. Madi. Madayag. Ateneo. Is a championship point. Ateneo. Lady. Goosebumps. Star Mount USA. No matter the awards, the Ateneo community believes that Maddie is the queen blocker of the UAP. Absolutely beautiful. There is nothing like collegiate volleyball here in the Philippines, and that's why Colin Sexton is putting that on his Instagram. That's right. I'm gonna check his IG story. He's just from using flash. Thank By the way, Anthony was at championship point. One point away. From reclaiming the championship, they last flag. won Thank in you. season 77. They won both their championships here at the Mall of Asia Arena in Pasay City. And they want to make history Once repeat again, itself from using for a third time. Thank you. All the fans in blue and white are on their feet, waiting. Serving for the champion for that for legendary Hot moment. Tolentino. Tolentino to serve. Picar. To Rondina. Picar gives it back to Rondina. Ravenna gets it in the air. This could be it. Oh, Samonte. To Samonte. After losing in game one. The one Lady Eagle, the Queen, Ateneo is once again 